from work, everybody. Didn't <gasps> have bites out of them when I brought them home. Oh yes, they had bites out of them when you brought them home. Pay no attention to this plastic fork. Not to mention he bought two gallons of ice cream. Not two gallons of quarts. Two quarts. Whatever. humid today. It rained. It's been raining the last few days. Um, a few nights ago we had like a flipping monsoon. It just ripped through everything and yesterday it rained and today it rained. But we're like 100 degrees and so it's just so humid and muggy and icky. But it is what it is. So we're going to the store. <laughs> I'm serious, I don't have anywhere to go today. And the only reason why I'm excited to go to the store is because there's some nail polish that I want. Um, they have a little bit of China Glaze nail polish and there's this color, I forgot what the name is. It's something something Dune, like D-U-N-E. And it's the perfect color that I've been looking for. It's like concrete or cement. It's like light, 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 gray tan. So I'm hoping it's still there. They only had two bottles. And I'm hoping that I can get my hands on one. And other than that, I have nowhere else to go. Put my glasses on. So I don't need to go to the Dollar Tree. I don't want to go to the Dollar Tree. I'm wearing my new shirt from T or um, Burlington. It's just my white cotton blouse with like little lacy detail on it. I don't know, you can't tell. And it's totally getting wrinkled right now, but it's okay. So I got all dolled up just to go to Harmon's. <laughs> but we just need a few things. We don't even need like a lot. But oh well. Gets me out of the house. I don't even need a prescription. Oh crap, I was gonna mail these. Daryl brought home things that need to be mailed and I was gonna put them in the mailbox. I got my bracelets on, the ones that I made. One of the ones that were round like this, one of the beads broke off, like it broke in half somehow. And so the other half is just dangling. So I have to um, take it apart and do it again. Put a new bead on it. So, that's why I didn't wear it. Is there some other wear? Nope, there's one down here in between. I made a, a turn and all the letters flew off my lap. Okay, I think I got them all. Okay, I'm just about ready to go into the Harmons and so I was looking for more of these envelopes because I have to mail them. I'm just gonna mail them at Harmons. And I thought, okay, take one more look in between the seats. And guess what I found? 
I found a letter from Susan J. Um, from December. This I picked up from my P.O. box, I guess, and it fell between the seats and I didn't see it. I cannot believe it. And it's just taped shut, so I'm going to open it right now. Susan, I'm so sorry. I just, something told me a minute ago, look between the seats for one more letter, just in case, and then this popped up. So this is the first Christmas card of the year. <laughs> it says, Season's Greetings. Aw, it says, December 2021. Hi, Tracy. I hope this card finds you and your family doing well. I'm starting to watch YouTube again. It's been a tough year. I lost my dad on March 7th. I'm so sorry. This year to pancreatic cancer. I understand your pain and tears. And I'm truly sorry that you and Daryl have had to experience this. The pain is nonstop. Thank you for the compliments on my granddaughter Anna's picture on her card. She keeps me going. Love you lots, and I will be binge watching your videos. Your videos to get caught up. Love, Susan J. Oh, I'm so sorry about your dad, Susan. I'm so sorry. I just, if I would have gotten this card, I could have sent you my condolences before now. I hope you weren't thinking I've been ignoring you. I am so sorry. But I found it today and it was a happy, happy surprise. And I just love you. And I'm sending you all my love and hugs. they had my nail polish that makes me so happy I'm gonna do my nails Ew, I need to change I need to wipe my lens I can tell it's dirty because everything's all blurry all right we made it home so I got some of this corn I got this last week and it was really good and so we each had two and there was one left and so now there are four because the one that's in the fridge, so that'll be good. And then I bought Daryl some mushrooms because I figured we could do some shish kebabs. And here's some zucchini. I don't know why, but all of their zucchini was nicked. Nicked up and scratched up. I don't know why. I got a green bell pepper. And then this is the nail polish that I got. I really can't wait to use it. And then I got one of these blocks. Needed some Drano and needed some sour cream. And then here's my favorite macaroni and cheese. It was on sale for $4.99 and so was all the rest of it. Like Velveeta, all the other brands were the same price. So I went ahead and grabbed a box of this. This is my favorite almond milk, the unsweetened vanilla. I use this in my smoothies. And this is what I use in my smoothies. Some light and fit Greek strawberry and blueberry. And I've grabbed some grapes. They're good. Grab some more coleslaw. All they had was the angel hair. We have a little bit of the regular coleslaw, so we can mix it all together. Grab some more weenies, fun length. And then these are just some little chicken cutlets. I think there are three chicken breast cutlets, so they're kind of thin. There's either three or four, I don't know. But we can grill that. And then I just bought some buns. So that was my grocery experience for the day.